Hello folks, I hope you guys are staying at home and staying safe. Well, along with staying safe, I also want you guys to do one more thing and that is stop the spread of misinformation. Unfortunately, along with the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of fake news has also been peddled around this time. And quite a few of these stories are also tech related. From 5G accelerating the spread of coronavirus to nanotechnology microchips being used in the vaccination for the cure. Well, I've heard ludicrous conspiracy theories already. Hi, I'm Ashar from Mr. Phone and in this video, I'm going to take you through three tech myths around COVID-19 that I want you guys to stay away from. Before we move on, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever Mr. Phone puts out an awesome new tech video. Also, we've been doing a lot of uh, live chats on Instagram. So if you guys are not following us on Instagram already, don't forget to check the link in the description below. And in case you want to have chats with your uh, you know fellow community users who are also like-minded and love technology, then we have a Telegram group you know, especially for you guys. So don't forget to go and check that out either. So the biggest conspiracy theory around uh, COVID-19 is one that connects next generation 5G networks to COVID-19. In one of the claims, uh, one conspiracy theorist says that 5G at 60 Hertz stops humans from absorbing oxygen. Whereas another claim says that, uh, you know, the electromagnetic radiation from 5G actually reduces our immunity and thereby accelerating the spread of the virus as well. Now, the final theory actually claims that somehow the viruses actually use uh, you know the radio waves used by 5g to talk to each other to communicate with each other and pick out specific targets and again you know helping the spread of uh, you know coronavirus now most of these theories are floating around actually in the uk uh, where anti 5g fringe groups have taken to facebook and whatsapp and they are actually riling up gullible people into believing that 5g is actually accelerating the spread of coronavirus uh, in fact it has gone to such a level where uh, people in london have actually burnt down uh, you know 5g network masts myth busting time obviously there is no correlation between 5g and the pandemic itself now if the people of britain are worried that you know 5g is actually accelerating the spread of coronavirus then they should know that there are spots in britain where there is 5g not active yet and there are people who have been affected unfortunately by this deadly disease in fact in many countries including ours uh, there is absolutely no 5g network and there are already many cases uh, of uh, reported of covid 19 uh, already imagine if 5g trials had already started in india uh, we as indians would have lapped up this controversy and waves and waves of whatsapp fake forwards would have you know come your come to your inboxes already well there are some unfortunate perks to not being at the forefront of technology innovation uh, now the other important thing to note is that like most uh, wireless technology, 5G also works on radioactive waves. Uh, now, what this means is that yes, 5G works on a higher frequency compared uh, to 4G, 2G or 3G. Having said that, even then 5G is not beyond the frequencies used by, uh, you know, microwave or, uh, you know, visible light or heat. Radiation emitted by 5G is mostly non-ionizing radiation and it is not going to affect human DNA or human cells and it doesn't even cause cancer and thereby it's not gonna reduce uh, our immunity therefore debunking that entire theory that it's reducing our immunity and it is uh, helping the virus actually uh, be more effective. Now as for the viruses talking to each other and picking out hosts well that theory uh, that notion is completely bonkers. Now the promoters of this theory are actually referring to a research paper that came out in 2011 which claimed that bacteria was actually talking to each other and communicating with each other to uh, using electromagnetic radiation uh, to pick out hosts. Well, uh, by default, the at the base outset itself, that theory is flawed because we're talking about viruses here and not bacteria. And even if you're talking about bacteria, uh, you know that theory where electromagnetic radiation was used is completely uh, has completely been debunked. Uh, what now uh, scientists are saying is that bacteria actually you produce molecules of their own to talk to each other. In any case, viruses it's not related to viruses. It's they're talking about bacteria there, and that is a completely absurd, bonkers logic. Something that we can keep away from. Now, the first line of action to actually stop the spread of misinformation is actually to pull down the videos that currently exist. So YouTube, uh, apart from pulling down the video, which uh, included a live stream with David Icke, who is a prominent conspiracy theorist, who also spread, uh, you know, the rumor that 
5G and coronavirus are interlinked. YouTube has pulled out that video and YouTube is con actually already banning any 5G related misinformation around COVID-19. So that's great. WhatsApp has also limited the amount of forwards that uh, people can send. Facebook is also doing its bit. Everybody, every single social platform out there are doing their bit to curtail misinformation of any sort. Having said that, if you do search hard enough, you might just find the David Icke interview or more conspiracy theories lying around. It's very impossible to completely cut down, uh, you know, on these conspiracy theories. While while we are all advocates of free speech here at Mr. Phone, these are trying times and it is vital that we cut out any misinformation of any sort that can completely harm our social fabric. So if you do come across fake WhatsApp forwards, you know what to do. Share this video with them and of course if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up the second uh, myth that has gone viral and that has been doing the rounds actually claims that uh, you know the vaccine that will cure coronavirus will include nanotechnology microchips that will be implanted into the patient's body uh, the theory actually uses bill gates's quantum dot i technology to prove this uh, saying that the microchip will be installed in uh, the patient's body and digital certificates will be used to login details and track more information as well well the truth is uh, bill gates did mention the use of digital health certificates but that is not in the form of a microchip being implanted into a patient so that has been confirmed plus there is absolutely no correlation and it has been completely debunked that quantum dot i technology is being used for the coronavirus vaccine you know what uh, this uh, theory completely reminds me of the time when you know our demonetization happened and uh, there were whatsapp fake forwards which said that the rupees 2000 note will come with the uh, you know nanotechnology uh, you know gps chip ngc where which will be used to actually track the location of that currency so yeah i mean that was obviously wrong then uh, you know this theory right now is obviously wrong too now the third one is something that we've been asked personally here at Mr. Phone. I've got personal DMs on Twitter asking me whether it is safe to import a phone from China and will whether it will uh, you know transport the coronavirus or COVID-19 virus to India and if you will be affected. Now this is a legitimate concern but one that is completely wrong and completely something that you don't need to worry about. Well, uh, mid-busting time, it is absolutely safe for you to buy any, any product, not just tech product from China because there is no way that the virus will actually last for the duration of the entire delivery process from packing to shipping to actually delivering the product product it will take at least two to three days if even if you're being overly optimistic and there is no way that the virus can actually sustain on surfaces for that long by that time uh, the lipid bilayer or the fatty membrane around the virus can be destroyed completely and easily so there is literally nothing for you guys to worry about now the only thing that is of worry right now is that this is a lockdown period and maybe you might not get the deliveries uh, in the first place to begin with but even when you know the lockdown ends and everything is all right and if you want to buy something off of you know alibaba jd.com or gearbest you can do that without any fear uh, it's not going to transport coronavirus to you also i have been reading comments uh, you know or even on our videos which are stating that you know uh, people should stop Stop buying Chinese uh, you know phones going forward that is a completely absurd logic uh, right now China is the manufacturing hub for many products uh, I mean you can run away from these products but you cannot hide from them you, you might have a phone that is not made in China but the parts inside it will definitely be made in China Moreover, if your worry is that, you know, these products will actually transport the virus, I have already debunked that, it's not going to do that. But if it is a politically charged comment against China, then this is beyond the scope of this video. We shall take that to Twitter at R3 Dash. So I hope you guys are enlightened by this video and do share this with your family and friends and let them know uh, the tech myths that are surrounding COVID-19 at the moment. It is very important for us to break the chain of misinformation that is the need of the R. So I hope you guys found this video enlightening. You can use this as a resource to share it with your family and friends when they are faced with any doubts. Also, let's break that chain of misinformation. Have you ever wondered why most conspiracy theories emerge during the times of a crisis? Because we as humans are at our most vulnerable state at that time. And these conspiracy theories actually want to take advantage of that fact for personal gain or for some sadistic pleasure of any sort. Therefore, we need 
need to be careful of the content we are consuming and here are two very important things that you must do firstly whenever you read any piece of information presume it to be wrong and question and be critical every single time now, secondly don't laugh or ridicule uh, you know people who believe in these conspiracy theories primarily because you know they are also anxious and not everybody is wired the same so maybe if you talk to them politely and that change in approach could you know help uh, them from not believing in that misinformation well that's it from me this is a very important video i'm a shot from mr ford i hope you guys liked it see you guys in the next one goodbye and godspeed my friends